Hey, Ro Robert. Hey, Robert. What's up, you chip? <laughs> Guess where we're at? Where? The famous Layman's in Kidron, Ohio. Yes. We saw a parade here. Yeah. And we found a broom, a big, big, heavy duty broom. And a purse. <laughs> we'll take you along on our trip. Come Let's on. Go. Thanks. <laughs> We are in Kidron, Ohio at Layman's uh -huh. and we got here today and we were like, what's going on? And it's a bicentennial parade. It's coming down the road. That's what all that racket is. What did you say about candy? Nothing. I said, those kids have candy bags. They better throw some out because I'm running and getting some. <laughs> it's pretty fun. E-Chip hates parades. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the longest parade. That's not Kidron. That's a different town. That's a limit. Beyond that, instead, that's the best. <laughs> They're playing some kind of polo on unicycle. Unipolo. Unipolo, is that what it's called? I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs> but it sounds good. I love it. I wonder how uh, you can ride one Football, of those. hockey, mm -hmm. frisbee. I need a wide I need a wide load seat. <laughs> That's pretty fun. I wonder if they make special wide road seats. Now that's something you don't see in a parade anymore. It used to be a guy on a unicycle in a parade years ago, but now, now you see a, a whole see bunch some, of them. <laughs> some kind of good stuff. We're in Kidron, Ohio, in front of Layman's on the main gut here. I think it's called Emerson Road in Kidron, Ohio. And we didn't know it, but we got here just in time for their bicentennial parade to start. So maple syrup festival oh my Wait, goodness the wrong time again. but there they are it. working it pancakes, pancakes and maple syrup thanks must be nice okay we're here at the famous layman's in kidron ohio 
And, it's uh, not that famous because I had never heard of it till he <laughs> told me about it. <laughs> it's famous among off-gridders, Amish, homesteaders, those kinds of people. We know other people have done videos on this place. This is part of a planned part of our trip to come by here. We got lucky and saw the Bicentennial Parade going on right out and behind the camera here right now. But um, we're going to go inside and see what we can see. Maybe you can pick up something for laundry, huh? Maybe. I need a washboard or something. Something for doing laundry. Yeah. Oh, okay, this place is incredible. We'll bring you along. Jump in. Ooh. I just changed my glasses on too. Okay, I'm it's ready. It's like an old barn. Alright, let's go. I'm done. You're done, alright. Okay. Looks like an old barn. I would like to get like a. Get it, Robert. I can't reach it. There's a whole bunch of them. different sizes. My favorite thing is the cowbell. <laughs> we need more cowbell. Come here, look at me, Casey Jones. This one's too big. <laughs> no. There hey, are others right here. One. That's extra large, large, medium, Maybe small. A large will fit me. I have a big head though. Big head. Yes. Huh. Let's take a look. <laughs> Sticking inside the sock when you darn it so it spreads out the rend and then you can sew it more easily. Oh. Yeah. Look at this. Exclusive hand washer. It's stainless steel, which is kind of cool. They just got this is your agitator. And then it's got a ringer bar. But they want eight hundred and ninety nine dollars for this thing. If you buy the washer only it's seven twenty five and if you buy the ringer only it's two thirty nine for that right there. And listen to that. It's not even smooth. This is so not worth the money. This Wonder Wash. It's a tub that I guess you close it up and spin it. Yeah, that one dirt patch heaven girl uses it, remember? Yeah. How much is it? $50. It's not that bad of a price. It's not too bad, but I'm. here's the thing. It's plastic. Which means it's going to smell like anything it takes in. So it's going to smell. Um, it's going to pick up the smell of the detergent, anything nasty you put in it, that kind of thing. Just like Kool-Aid in a plastic pitcher, you know. Then the other it's thing is... It's kind of small. And it's really small. The only thing you do in there is socks, is socks and underwear. Well, I mean, you could put your other clothes in there too, but you could only One piece like at one a time. A <laughs> couple shirts, three shirts. Yeah, pretty small. Wash tub here. Baron's wash tub, 35, 35 bucks. I don't know. This stuff is really expensive. Washboards are 38. Washboards are $38. We're cheap ho depot people. I'm not <laughs> buying it. <laughs> well, you can get it a lot cheaper other places. So, um, a friend of ours, Jay, gave us a, an oil lamp when we left, uh, gave us a bottle of oil when we left to go to come to Contentment. We ended up buying an oil lamp because there's like a tradition. And when you give someone, when they have a new house, you give them an oil lamp or oil or whatever. I'll have to look that up. But anyway, we have oil, we have an oil lamp, so now we don't, we need wicks. And maybe some, another oil lamp. A hanging lamp, hanging style lamp. It's got a mirrored top and it's 30 bucks. I want that. What's that? The copper stuff up there. Oh, the copper stuff over there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get you some herbal tonic. Or get you some Switchel. <laughs> I'm gonna come in here. Oh, here's a museum of lamps or something. Kerosene lamp. This thing weighs like 80 pounds. I'm not kidding, it's like a baseball bat head. 
<laughs> what's this what's this handle made of i don't know it's like maple or something made in lancaster county Pennsylvania. made in lancaster amish barn broom I want to, i'm getting one of these brooms but i want this wood handled one all right you want a big old dust pan to go with no <laughs> i got whisk brooms and small brooms and... oh look at this a maytag double washer from the 1920s they got they got all these washing machines up here little washing machines you'll be using murphy's all the time traditional oh. called a flower sack town mm -hmm. i don't know what the heck it is i don't even know if it has historical value but it's made in india okay they got a whole bunch of berkey filters here funky berkey water filters and this one right here I mean you can buy them online for how much? I think I got it for $279. For $279 this is $305 so the filters are probably higher as well but it's nice being able to look at this whole selection here that's a nice thing about it they have got a collection of wood stoves here I'll look there there's a that red thing is a wood furnace and they've got a nice selection of wood stoves and wood cook stoves mm -hmm. i'd hope to see more wood cook stoves than they have but that's more than i see in one place yeah i think this place originally was a hardware store and they branched out into other things but it's like an old sign for them I'm in the hardware section. They have some okay tools. Some of them are really good quality things like this. Some of them are eh quality like that. And, you know, just sort of a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. It's not a huge hardware section. I was looking at these uh, tool pouches here and they're you know they're cowhide or whatever but the pouch section is double stitch which is good but the actual pockets they have a little rivet here at the top but the pocket itself is only single stitched i don't know if i could trust it honestly i, mean, I do need a new apron a tool apron or you know pouch but i can't really tell if these are all that great quality anyway Still a pretty cool store. Lots of cool stuff in it to look at. Okay, raw. Okay, robber. What? So, how would you in in one word? How would you describe your experience at Layman's today? Um, I can't describe it in one word. It was fun, but it's very commercialized, which I guess it should be because it's a business, it's a shopping center. It's a store, yeah. But I, it's more of a, it's more touristy than I thought, I mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. But I guess it makes sense that it's a touristy thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but I liked it. They had some really fun things. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> a lot of things, of course, you know, it, because they're paying for the name and all that kind of stuff. Oh, look what I bought at Layman's. Yeah. And a lot of everything much more expensive yeah um, there were some things here that it appears you can only find in a, in a place like this unless you went online uh -huh. well like what did you find like those little pumpers yeah I mean like all the well pumps all the different pitcher pumps and hand pumps ahead for wells and things like that I mean all in one place I don't know of any other place you could go and see those all in one place all the different Berkey filters you know Berkey canisters that mm -hmm. they had um, all the wood stoves they had in one place from different makers and brands um, yeah they did have a lot of wood stoves all the canning stuff the fermenting uh, stuff I, I know of no place where you can go and just buy fermenting stuff yeah pretty much you have to buy that online I guess I mean there may be some places but I haven't seen them yeah um, but yeah i mean i don't know i liked it i really did but i was expecting i you know i have some kind of thought in my mind about what a you know a lifestyle looks like mm -hmm. and 
this is not what I thought a lifestyle would look like, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, well, I guess when you're I... You're talking about the Amish? Or the, well, okay, yeah. So, like, when I think of... You know, each of us had Amish people come here, and there were still a lot of <clears throat> Amish people in this store. And Mennonite. Yes, and Mennonite people. Um, but... I don't know for some reason in my mind I think okay this stuff is kind of modern that and I they, they shouldn't be using modern stuff I guess <laughs> you know but they're gonna use the canning things and stuff like that but a lot of that stuff in there I would I don't know I just why would they you know if this is a an Amish place and a lot of Amish people shop here and if it was geared toward Amish people I guess when he made it I don't really know the story but each chip said it was for like man-powered stuff. Um, yeah, non-electric and, and hand-powered things. And yeah. so a lot of the stuff was kind of modern-like stuff. Mm -hmm. That's all, I guess. I'm yeah. To say. <clears throat> and then you see made in China, made in India, made in Indonesia. You know, it's, and I understand they're a store and they have to make money and it's a business and. That kind of stuff. The uh, bad, there were just bad. A, it's. I mean, I, the thing, the thing that I see from coming here is that, hey, you know, even the Amish are into rampant commercialism. <laughs> I, I think everyone is. Yeah. But I mean, there were some Amish baskets that were signed by the person who made them. Uh -huh. um, there were some other crafts, some other things signed by the women who made them. Uh, but a lot of the stuff was imported. Well, I bet the store. Still, this store obviously employs a lot of Mennonite um, folks that we saw working here. And then also, maybe some Amish, but I think Mennonite mostly. And then also, it's clear that the local Amish here, I mean, many of them probably make a living uh, by selling uh, to this store, you know, by as being suppliers to this store for their crafts that they make, so... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there were some there were some things. I mean, who knows if they're local, but I would just assume that they probably get them from around here. A lot of more. Anyway. But, yeah. So on a scale of 1 to 10, Robber? Um, eight. Eight? So you liked it that much? I, yeah, yeah, I mean, I liked it. But again, um, I always try to find stuff that you can't buy where we're from or something that's really unique for the area. But I was, I am, I'm going to admit, admit, I was surprised that there's a lot of modern-like stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Some stuff is just ridiculous. Like those, we found, I thought they were really neat looking. The enamel plates, I don't know the brand or anything like that. But like those were, camping enamel, metal enamel plates like for camping? Well, and, but they're not camping. They were not in the camping section. Right. They were in the, in the cooking, the kitchenware mm -hmm. section. But they were blue, bright blue, you know, royal blue, and like really red and white spotty kind of things and I thought that I liked the color of those but the starter set was $139 and again for enameled plate for some kind of an enamel plate and I think who is going okay so you have to have inventory I like how they call it a starter set yeah. <laughs> nobody's going beyond that for those plates I mean you have to have inventory for your store but I can't imagine why anyone would buy them because they're unique looking but it's expensive it it appears to me that this store is geared definitely toward the impulse tourist type buyer you know lots of lots of junk you know for sale in there Not, uh, a lot of things that really don't have substance or end use yeah i would fluff. say i did i got a fluff i did get a fluff item i got a little purse thing you got a hat well, yeah, the hat. I'm not. I'm almost don't go anywhere without getting a hat. Plus, it's a railroad guy hat or something. Casey Jones. Yes. Um, <clears throat> but the little purse thing was nine ninety nine. But my my phone will fit down in there too. That means I don't have to have a because my other little bag like that, my phone didn't fit in, so I had the bag and my phone. But this one will fit all of my stuff, and it's a crossbody one, and I like those a lot. Okay. Um, then the the broom was really kind of a oh I just really want this kind of a thing, but it's really really heavy, and I like it that it's really heavy. It'll give me muscles while I sweep all the million 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 grains of sand out of the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> all right.